G'day and good morning. Welcome in. Gosh, it's a beautiful day today. I hope everyone is doing well. Look how gorgeous today is. Beautiful. It's a very lovely day. And it is a really good thing to see a lot of children out fishing. Woohoo! Doing something great on the school holidays. Fishing. Nice and healthy fun. The gaming Easter Bunny, good eye. Welcome in. I hope you are well. <laughs> Let me just get this right. Instead of being so jiggery, there's a really good chair over the other side of this little park, but it's right in the sun. And I'm telling you now, goodness me, today is a warm one. It is very hot. Well, the sun has a lot of bite to it, so I'm sitting in the shade. Henry, g'day, my mate. Welcome in. I didn't see you come in. Have you only just come in? I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. How you going, mate? I laughed when I seen your new channel's name. <laughs> I thought there's only one mate that I know that's crazy enough to do something like that. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> G'day mate, welcome in. How you going? Is everything going well for you? I hope so. Frente. G'day and welcome in my mate. Thanks for being here. I hope you are well. Oh, the bud files. G'day. Welcome in. How are you? I hope you are doing well. I think it's, is it night time where all yous are over in this beautiful world of ours? Must be Monday night, is it, over there? Well, here I am bringing Tuesday morning. This is what Tuesday looks like. <laughs> it's beautiful. You're going to love Tuesday absolutely gorgeous let's have a look over here i really don't want to film other people so let's have a look over here that's better i need to get my glasses on my readers D, g'day and good morning. Good. I'm glad that it did. I was thinking of you. All right, how's that? Can everyone see that beautiful Tuesday morning? It does not look lovely. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm in a prime position here, sitting in the shade underneath this tree because goodness me, the sun has a lot of bite to it. <coughs> Well, this is excellent. I'm glad I've got my mates in here to say g'day to. I've been spending a lot of time with family and friends, uh, more so friends, um, just letting them know how dear they are to me <laughs> and how much I love their friendship. Because if something tragic happens, your mates are gone and when they're gone, they're gone for good. So reach out and tell a really good friend of yours how much you love them and how much you were so happy to have them in your life because you mightn't get the opportunity to do it. The last couple of days I have been very fortunate, very, very fortunate under very sad circumstances 
to be able to tell my close mates just how much their friendship means to me. And over the years, over the last 30 years, I know it's incredible, right? 30 years, considering I'm only 27. <laughs> Oh, Dee, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to have my my mates here so I can tell them how much they mean to me. So if Gordon's still in the chat, <coughs> um, re Gordon, remember when I used to do that segment on my channel, Meet My Mates? <laughs> I was thinking that I might even start that back up again. Meet My Mates because I've been slacking out a lot lately and I haven't really been over to see what everyone's up to. Has everyone else noticed that YouTube has changed? Once upon a time, there was nothing in my news feed. So when I clicked onto the home page to have a look, everyone that I was subscribed to wasn't on there. And lately I've noticed that people that I haven't seen in ages are popping straight up as soon as I open up my home page, which I'm really happy about because there's people that pop up that I haven't seen for ages and I was like, goodness me, I need to go over and see these people. Banshee, get a beautiful welcome in. I'm glad you're here as well. I classed you as one of my good mates. Thank you for coming in and saying good day. Have I missed anyone coming in? It's a beautiful day here today. Tan man, get a mate. Welcome in. Thanks for coming in, mate. Okay, Henry. Well, that's that makes sense. I I just remember, like even six months ago, it'd be the same people just in my home on my home page. And by the time you watch six or seven videos, <laughs> which is a lot, I felt like I couldn't support other people or I or, or I'd used up so much time that I didn't have the time to go and support other people but I've just thought that the last couple of months it's just been a lot easier YouTube isn't pushing out one or two channels they're pushing out a lot of channels which I'm happy about thanks tan man and I'm so happy that you've come in to say good day to um, all of us, myself and my mates in the chat. We've got some very good people here in the chat, so reach out, everyone. Yeah, Banshee, I hope you're doing well. Look how beautiful it is here today. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day today. Look at that weird looking tree, D. Pandanus. They're protected up here. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same tree that produces a edible Oh, I don't know if it's a fruit or if it's a nut. But it grows very big like a pumpkin. And you crack it open and the flesh inside tastes like roast pumpkin. Yum. But unfortunately, there is a, a lot of varieties of pandanus tree. 
and some you can't eat. Some will produce a fruit that looks like a nut and some you, and there's, I think, I think there might be a couple that you can actually eat. And it's meant to be very delicious. Oh, stop it. Is it really? 12 degrees. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, D. No, I'm in shorts and T-shirt. Thongs. <laughs> well, not thongs, but, you know, slides or whatever. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm sitting in the shade because the sun has got a very big bite to it. Oh, goodness me. Okay, Gordon, I've never heard of that channel. Yes, it is, Tam Man. Australia is beautiful. It's very beautiful. But no, it is a very, very, very lovely day here today. Pretirement. Welcome in, g'day. Thanks for joining us. Well, yeah, we had it last night. Or, oh, oh, the eclipse. Yeah, okay. Banshee, did you manage to get all your crystals out? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I, I had a massive day yesterday catching up with some friends that I haven't seen for years. So I was exhausted, I was. <laughs> I just completely forgot. But yes, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. Yeah, I forgot Banshee. I totally forgot. As soon as I ended the live stream last night, I just totally forgot. I actually think I made myself a coffee. <laughs> Because I went all dum dum. I went funny like that. I think just um, exhausted and emotionally exhausted and just, yeah. But anyway, it is what it is. I forgot. Ah, oh, well. There's so many children out here with their fishing rods. It's beautiful to see. Absolutely lovely. Good, healthy living. I love it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, well, yeah, I just wasn't, I just wasn't my normal self yesterday. But as I said, very emotional it was. Oh, check out this boat. Where is it? There it is. Where is it? Here it comes, I think. Yep. There it goes. <laughs> There's the bush. Sorry, everyone. So, not far from here, they have heaps of boat shops where you buy boats and stuff and get your boat serviced and yada, yada, yada. And when, when they're test driving a new boat <laughs> they come down here to test out the new boat so I said to Dan how about we just make out we're buying a new boat so we can test out one and he brought me back to reality and he said said it how it was which absolutely true you know if we test drive a new boat it won't be going back to the shop it'll be coming home with us <laughs> and i was like oh yes we need another boat like we need a hole in the head <laughs> we do we do not need another boat one day we might I'm feeling better, Banshee. I'm feeling a lot better that my mates are here with me, having a yarn with me and talking. Um, I love that side of YouTube. I, I love the wonderful friends that I've made. 
because of recent events, I have made a conscious effort to reach out to people and to be a better friend. <laughs> Not that I think that I could do anything differently, but just be there for people. Life just gets in the way. That's all. What's Tan Man saying to D? Oh, did you? The gaming ham. Oh, the game. Gordon, you're going to have to um, email it to me, mate. Because I do not think links are allowed to be dropped in vertical live stream. Now, look here. Look at that. They're test driving that. Come on, mate. Drive that like you stole it. And he is. <laughs> Go, mate. Oh, I bet you he's just loving that. I would be. Hey, brand new boat. Oh, goodness me. That's what dreams are made of. There he goes. Lucky devil. Hope you got it. Hope you got it for a good price. <laughs> Boats are expensive up here, everyone. And... Every second yard has a boat in the front. So it's a lifestyle up here. We've got, we've got a lot of boat shops up here, which of course we would be. Look where we are. We're just surrounded by water. So hopefully in the next week or so, I'll be going out to the reef. So you will all be bombarded with my snorkeling videos again. <laughs> but I'm going out to a different reef. Now, I haven't been out to this reef in over 20 years because they stopped tours going out there. They stopped people. Oh, I don't know if they actually stopped people, but um, I know that the charter boats haven't been going out there for quite a few years. And I'm really super keen to get out and have a look at this coral reef that I haven't seen in 20 years. I'd like to see if there's been any growth or any development because I actually found some old photos of this reef the other day. And this was 20 years ago. This is when, um, well, for me, underwater photography <laughs> was at its infancy for me, not for anyone else, but only for me. So I, and I remember it just being absolutely beautiful. I remember it being shallow and that is good <laughs> for snorkeling. Oh, he, he comes old matey back. There he goes, here he comes, quick. Oh, he's loving his new boat. You lucky devil. We're watching, mate. We're all watching. All around the world, mate. We are watching you love your boat. <laughs> go, mate. Look at him go. Bless him. Living his best life, huh? Yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm super keen to go out and film this reef. Now, this reef, from what I remember, there, there's a lot of cliffs and the coral grows um, up and down and around the cliffs and it is shallow. So that's good for my poor old lungs <laughs> that I don't have to dive down too deep. Because I'll wait till the last minute to come up for air. I'm shocking like that. I'll be, I'll be that person that'll pass out underwater for sure. And I think that I've got only a little bit to go before I reach the top, but because the water is so clear and so crystal, you think that it's only a metre or two and you're going to be on the surface. Ah, oh, until you're not, until every part of your body is just flipping and flapping, trying to get up to the surface. <laughs> 
The water's just so crystal clear. You think you're there. Here we go, matey. Yep, we're all jealous. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Look, living his best life. Oh, hey, living the dream. <laughs> yes, D, he has to um, drive it like he stole it, eh? <laughs> He's loving it. He's giving it a workout to see if it's worth his money. It's a tinny, but I don't think it would be very cheap, I can promise. Yeah, Banshee. He's driving it like he stole it. <laughs> giving it a test run. Oh, look, I don't know that for a fact. And he wouldn't have stole it. Oh, how do I know? <laughs> No, I'm not finding no, no, I'm not finding no octopuses, D. I'm not. We're scared of stuff like that. <laughs> like crocodiles. Don't encourage me to try to film a crocodile. No way. It's our lifestyle. We're scared of them. We, we know what they're like. We've been warned all our lives up here. You know, keep away from the crocodiles. They're up here. They're real. Because I'll tell you what, if something happened and a croc took me, there'd be no big search party. <laughs> Especially when there's all warning signs not to be in that area where crocs are. They, the, the township won't stop and put out a search party for you. Your family might. But no, if you get taken by a crocodile and you're, in, and you're, where you, you're somewhere where you shouldn't be, well, he must be running out of petrol. He's putting now. He's, he's used up all his petrol, everyone. So he's just putting along now. Yeah, if you're up here and you are you get taken by a croc and you're somewhere where you shouldn't be, too bad, so sad. See you later. Nice knowing you. No one's going to come looking for you. So it's a way of life for, for us up here. And because we're on the water all the time, we don't want to see a crocodile. We see a crocodile, we're coming home. <laughs> We're so, I'm sorry, but we're scared of crocodiles. And I see too many crocodiles. That's it. I'm not getting in the boat to go fishing. No way. I'll be too scared that I'll be getting taken. <clears throat> oh, it's nearly high tide, I think. Yeah, Dee, so no, I'm not going to go looking for any creatures, just in case something bad happens to me. <laughs> oh, no, gal, welcome in, gorgeous. Thanks for being here. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here. Yes, it's beautiful. My gal, Tuesday. This is what Tuesday looks like. <laughs> it's high tide too. Did you, Banshee? Wow. No, they're not, Gordon. They're not scared of us. They sit underneath the water and they wait for some dum-dum to go into the water. And then they pounce and grab you. <laughs> Look, can we just stop talking about it? It's my lifestyle. It's okay for you mates over in the UK and those mates in Victoria who are in their country towns sitting, living their country lives to talk about crocodiles, but it's, it's real up here. It is a thing. We know to stay away from them. We know. You won't see any like, oh, you might see a couple, but I don't know. Let's have a close look at old matey's boat. It's flash, look at it. Oh, it's new. Look at that big motor, oh goodness me. Oh, it's got a steering wheel and everything. Gosh, Dan would be flash as driving that. 
Oh, look at it. That'd be worth a mint. Yeah, funny, Gordon. But no, when it's, <laughs> when it's a real possibility, it doesn't become funny at all. Look at that boat. Gosh, that's a good looking boat. Tinny. Oh, I don't know if that's a tinny. Might be a tinny. Might be one of those flash tinnies. Might be one of those flash 2024 tinnies. <laughs> we love our boats. They're not flash like that, but to us, they're everything. They're our everything. Oh, see you, Banshee. Thanks for popping in, beautiful. Thank you. Moon Man, g'day, my mate. Welcome in. I'm just saying goodbye to Banshee. She's got to go. Stormy, g'day, mate. Now, Stormy, get out there and find the biggest, scariest, deadliest snake. Torment it and film it for us. <laughs> okay, take some advice off D. Go and find the scariest creature that is in your lifestyle, stir it up, torment it, then film it. <laughs> oh, would you? Would you, Gordon? The wolves, they're vicious as well. Good on you, Stormy. <laughs> Dee wants to see some freaky action. She wants some octopus. She wants me to film some octopus. So I suggest you go and find, and it's got to be a deadly vicious one that can take your life. <laughs> Rustle it up, get it all worked up, film it. Show Dee, give Dee a highlight. <laughs> D, I'm not filming anything or chasing after anything that might not. Oh, I can hear them winding that boat in. Now, you'd think that it'd have one of those electric winder, boat winder in us. Dan reckons he's getting one of those next time. Oh, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> when we were camping for that week, my arms from winding in the boat, my arms from throwing the pots, my poor old back from pulling in those pots. Goodness me. Hey, my lifestyle is just too rough on my body. I bet you I'm one of those people that when I get old, I go real old, you know, I can't move. Oh, here comes a little lad closer to me. I hope he doesn't come into shot. There we go. I don't want to film other people. Oh, so what does she do? Films other people. Vodka vamp, g'day. Yes, it is. It's an absolutely spectacular day today. And we're down here at the boat ramp, one of many boat ramps. And some lucky devil, by the looks of it, by the, by the way he was driving that boat, he was taking it for a test run. Because <laughs> he was flooring it. And I've, I'm sitting here listening to them winch the boat back up onto the trailer. And it's one of the, it's a manual one. And I was just saying to the chat that you think it'd be one of those electric ones where you just press the button and it winds it pulls your boat in itself because Dan and myself are talking about we need to simplify our lives a little bit better because for the first couple of days after coming back from camping I couldn't even lift my arms above my head it actually ached my arms ached <laughs> when I went to brush my teeth how's that okay worn out but I have lived a full-on lifestyle, I have. 
and it was brought to my attention yesterday when I was yarning with my mates about life in general and you know just how full on and how um, active my lifestyle has been. Well, I go and get my skin checked all the time to make sure I don't have any nasty skin spots. I am so lucky, touch wood, and I've got this beautiful tree right next to me to touch. Look, I'm very, very lucky because this is a very um, harsh and extreme lifestyle that I've lived. Right, yeah, what has Stormy said? I've just got to hold this up, bring this up. Oh, no! Were they those, um, fire wasps? My bestie got attacked by some wasp. I nearly had to take her to the hospital, but she refused. <laughs> she found the nest though and got rid of the nest. Well, because of my lifestyle vodka vamp, I, I will go a couple of times a year. Not so much now because like for the last 15 years, I've been getting my skin checked regularly. And I'm good to go. Touch wood. I'm touching wood again. I'll touch this beautiful big tree right here that I'm sitting under the shade. I am so grateful for the shade today. It's a hot one. I've got my coffee. I've got my... I packed up coffee. and I can't see. So I've got a coffee. Sitting in the shade. Having... A big dory <laughs> at one of the many boat ramps. I oh, know you did, D. I've seen the pictures, and they've got to go deep, don't they, to get the root system out. So be careful, everyone. Can this be a reminder that if you haven't got your, especially to the Aussies in the chat, if you haven't got your skin checked in a while, can you please go and do so? Fluff said. And Fluff also thinks that everything's going to be okay, but I want you to go and get it checked. Especially to the Aussies. Skipjack Cindy, g'day gorgeous, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Woohoo! She's another um, avid fisherman, fisherwoman. She is, she loves her fishing as well. She's, she's like me, she loves to fish. So if you're into fishing or you'd like to meet some new mates go over and check out cindy she is always fishing i envy your lifestyle cindy the only thing the only thing that i would swap is that i want to be able to eat those fish <laughs> i don't think she eats many of her fish oh look i don't want to get other people in shot Oh, and they're so, it's so beautiful, all these kids out fishing. It's really lovely, everyone, to see these young kids out fishing. No electronic devices in their hands, just out living the good life. Can't see the chat. Yes, it's good vodka vamp. It is, it's beautiful. It is because we all know that this new generation of children now are just so connected to their devices, but it's the way our world is moving. Um, you can't um, stop the technology that's been developed. I mean, you know, it's, it's okay for people to say, the only thing that you can probably do for children is not purchase it. But at the end of the day, they're, they're missing out because for every one 
family that is doing it right and um, putting an age limit on devices and an age limit on social media, there's 10 families or nine families that aren't doing it. So, you know, like peer pressure, you know, these poor kids, these poor, poor children, you know, especially the families that are doing it right because the children are going and socialising with these other kids and hearing about all these games that they're playing online or listening to social media. So to those parents out there that are doing it right and um, monitoring their children, well done to you because our society is pushing us that way, that, you know, everyone's online, everyone is. <clears throat> it's just the way the world's going. Thanks, vodka. Oh, gosh. Go away. So, I was down here with some mates, oh, a while ago now, sitting here, and we just got some fish and chips. We were sitting here at the boat ramp, having a feed. Ping, ding. Go away. That bloody bird was trying to take off with my handbag. Go away. And it's, it's not scared of me one little bit. Yeah, we nearly lost all our fish and chips to the birds. <laughs> oh, one, one, one bird just took off with old matey's bait. Gee, they're cunning, aren't they, those birds? Seabirds, they're very cunning. They're very quick. <laughs> yeah, we don't bring fish and chips down here, you know, fish and chips from the chip shop. We don't bring fish and chips down here anymore because the birds. <laughs> I'm going to try to bring that up a bit without breaking it. Oh, that's okay, that's good. I can see the comments better now. Oh. Everyone knows that my favourite movie is Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. <laughs> no, 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 no. I suggest that's another thing. <laughs> Don't share your food because that just... Oh, some poor people have just turned up. They've got Macadies. And there's about six birds sitting in front of them already. Oh, goodness me. No stormy, don't share. <laughs> Otherwise you don't get rid of them because they go into all their relations and everyone just gets into a big flock and sits at your feet waiting for you to drop a crumb. <laughs> then there's a big bird fight when that one crumb gets dropped. That's when it becomes dangerous. <laughs> That's when it turns into an Alfred Hitchcock movie. <laughs> Scary. Doesn't take much to scare me, mates. Oh, really, gaming ham? Oh, yes, vodka vamp. Yes. I know what that feeling's like. I can be fishing and not even catch one fish, and everyone around me will be catching fish. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? How come I'm not catching any fish? It's good to fish. And Cindy loves her fishing. 
Oh, I've seen something similar to that on a TV show. It must be one of those animal rescue shows I was watching. Yeah, that's sad. These poor people sitting next to me are just looking at me like I'm a weirdo, talking into my iPad. <laughs> They're going weirdo. Oh, there's a seaplane. Oh, where'd it be going over? Let me see if I can see. Now it's behind the tree. It'll be going over to one of the islands. Oh, hey. Hey, I heard on the radio today that Hamilton Island is going cashless. That means that Hamilton Island is not allowing people to use cash. It's all electronic. Hey, moving with the times. See, this will be our future that they said. I can remember them saying 20 years ago that we will be a cashless society. I still can't work it out how, they, how they'll do it, but where there's a will, there's a way. I'm sure it's got... Well, Hamilton Island is leading the way. Um, I thought I heard them say that they won't even be receiving cash. But then in the next breath, they said, if you want cash... You go to the post office and you can draw it out. So Hamilton Island, for those who don't know, is like right in the heart of the Whit Sundays. it is. It's um, one of the biggest islands out in the Whit Sundays. We have 74 of them. So a lot of people were kicking up a stink about that, writing bad reviews, saying that they're never going to go back to Hamilton Island again. Quite frankly, I don't know how they can afford to go to Hamilton Island. We looked it up. We were going to go to Hamilton Island for a week. No. Too expensive. We may as well go overseas. Be cheaper to fly overseas for two weeks. Gosh, it's expensive over there, Hamilton beautiful though absolutely gorgeous little township there's a school there oh it's beautiful look at this beautiful water everybody it's not quite glass like conditions because there's a few ripples now what did stormy day say they don't take cash at the marvel stadium Melbourne for the last year. Okay, yeah, we're moving. I, I say the same thing, Vodka Vamp. The longer we can put it off, the better. We are just so... See what I mean about technology and how these poor children just cannot escape it? Like, it's their way of life now. Anyway, cash. What is cash? I haven't seen cash in ages. <laughs> I'm still bloody poverty. But as you can all see, I might be poverty in the pockets. But goodness me, I am rich in life. <laughs> well, that's what I tell myself. That's my positive affirmation anyway. And I think I'm going to stop saying povo and start saying frugal. <laughs> Although these last couple of months I haven't been too frugal. We've been living it up like rock stars. Oh, there's some bubbles there. Right near that mangrove. Oh, bubbles. A lot of bubbles. Vodka, we, we don't have to boy, boycott Hamilton Island. We simply just can't afford to go there full stop. 
I mean, we'd go there for the day. We've done that quite a few times. Go over to Hamilton Island for lunch. Woohoo! What happened, Stormy? The government just passed a bill in Parliament. What, about cash? What have I missed? Vodka, thank you. You too, beautiful. Thanks for popping in and saying good day. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. It really does. Thank you so much. Have fun. Be good <laughs> or good at it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, Gordon, if you remember, just um, after this live has ended, please just leave me a comment. That way it's easy for me to click on your name and go straight over to your page. Oh, my ears, are, ears won't pop. Oh, this is driving me crazy. I'm going to turn the sound off for a minute so I can... Um, unblock my ears <laughs> trust me this isn't a sound you want to hear radio Kitty Witty, g'day. Yes, g'day. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Kitty Witty, you are quite welcome to share your story in the chat because you'll find there's a lot of beautiful Aussies in here and a lot of lovely people from around the world. So please feel free to introduce yourselves. And welcome in, and thank you so much for popping in. Pila, hello. Baltimore. Goodness me, hey, Pila. How is Baltimore? We have seen the tragic news on our TV screens and on my, my social media blew up a big i hope everybody is well in baltimore well as can be and thank you very much for joining digital id yes ridiculous isn't it but it's the way we're going it's not meant to be about anything kitty witty Sorry to disappoint. This is just me popping in, saying g'day to my mates and welcoming in people like yourself, encouraging them to reach out and to make some new friends and to also let people know that Tuesday <laughs> is a very beautiful day. Look at this, would you? Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try to walk over these rocks. <laughs> Maybe not. Because I don't want to end up in the drink. <laughs> hey, thanks for the thumbs up, everyone. That's great. Yeah, Kitty Witty, we're, um, we're Aussies. Welcome in. But we've got the gaming Easter Bunny. <laughs> He's over in the UK in beautiful Kent. Oh, what a lovely place. And then we've got Dee and Stormy Day. They're from Victoria, inland Victoria. And Vodka Vamp. Um, vodka, where's Vodka? Vodka's over in West... Oh, goodness me, I shouldn't say it. I think Vodka Vamp is in Western Australia. I'm pretty sure she... Was she in Brisbane? Oh, goodness me. See? G'day, mate, to you. 
Yeah, the gaming Easter Bunny. <laughs> Just to say good day. There's nothing special about this live, only that my friends, who are so special, are in here saying good day to me, supporting me. Beautiful group of people, Kitty Witty. And what a super cute name your channel has, Kitty Witty. Whoops, here I'm going, I'm trying to maneuver over these rocks. <clears throat> Hope I don't fall over. That'd be terrible. Oh, look, there's been some oysters. Poo, yuck. I don't like oysters. Yes, stormy day. Soon we're just going to be all digital everything and they'll still be winching about the young children online. Been online too much. Oh, old mate, he's just caught something in his net. Now, someone's got a fish. Now, I can't stay away from people who catch a big fish. I have to go and have a look. I'm a big bloody Dory. Dory Evans. Does everyone remember Dory Evans? <laughs> oh, he's got something in his net. He's got a big fish. Better not be barren money. I'm going to push him in. What has he got? Where is he? I need to put him into frame. That's not him. That's not him. There he is. Oh, what is he called? I just heard someone saying it's the best feed. Goodness me. Let me have a look. I'll get closer. Oops, I'll point this way because there's children fishing. How you going, mate? Caught anything? Two, Two what, darling? Puffer fish. Oh, puffer fish. Oh, they're a good pull in though, aren't they? You think you got something good until you realise you don't. Young lad's caught two puffer fish, bless him. Put it down. How are you going, lad? You caught anything? Yeah, three littlies. Three littlies? Yeah. Oh, keep going now. I've heard Barramundi get around in here. Yeah, he's got a 60 centimetre mullet in the cast net. Oh, 60 centimetre mullet in the cast net. Really? Oh, good on you, mate. Oh, I reckon. Well done. Yum, dinner. Yeah, give him a rinse out. Hold on to him, he'd be slippery. <laughs> Well done. Congratulations. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, they have good food, eh? Mullet, yeah. yeah. Especially the sea mullet. They're so yeah. underrated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, good luck, everyone. I hope you catch a big barra. For me, I've never caught one. I yeah, love fishing. I. Yeah, and my girlfriend has, and she always reminds me. My whole family has. Yeah. Not me. Mm. Oh, They're here. They are here. Yeah, they're, they're here. Yeah. yeah. We've had breeze catching Yeah. Yeah. I should have bought my rod. I just come down because it was such a beautiful day and I just wanted to come out and yeah, film it. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful day. Oh, well, they got dinner sorted. Lucky devils. You know what I'm thinking about going home and get my rod. What do you reckon? Oh, sugar. What have I done? I've come to a dead end. <laughs> Bear with me, everyone. What am I going to do? It'd be safer for me to go through the... Bend over and go through the little fence. So there they are. They're the lucky devils. 
Look at them. Oh gosh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm, I think I might go home and get my fishing rod. Everyone's here. Get amongst it. Show up these kids <laughs> who will end up showing me up. Because they'll probably catch, you know how it goes, they'll probably catch a better fish than what I will. But they're having fun and they're excited. Lucky ducks, aren't they? Let's sit over here, this spot. Oh, Kitty Witty, if you're still here, I think I just seen your comment that you were leaving soon. But if you're still here, Banshee. Oh, what's Banshee's channel's name? Goodness me. Let me go back and have a look. That's why I call everyone by their channel's name because it's so easy to forget what their channel name is. And I think to myself, well, they've called their YouTube channel a name for a reason, so let's just support that. Too Cool for Banshee is from Geraldton in WA. Yeah, Too Cool for Banshee, that's it. She's got a great channel name as well. But yeah, Banshee, CD, D's in Victoria. Too Cool for Banshee is in Geraldton in Western Australia. And she's a lovely lady. Look, everyone in here, Kitty, is a great person. Now, Kitty, please, please, after this live stream, if you remember, just leave me a thumbs up or something. No, um, just leave a comment because then I can go back and um, click straight onto your comment. Okay, am I back? <clears throat> I'm having some problems. Oh, Colston, g'day. Welcome in. Sorry that I didn't say g'day to you coming in before. I've lost heaps of people in the chat. Dee's got a beautiful veggie garden. It's coming to an end, Dee. Is it? It is. This park is starting to fill up now. It's beautiful to see all these kids piling out of their parents' cars with their um, with their children. Okay. Well. I'm sure you will grab out your camera and start filming soon so we can go over and see your lifestyle. So I'm, I try to market myself as a lifestyle channel. I do. Just everything in my life. So everything that I like, I try to film. Oh, there's some people in the park that I know. I should go over and say g'day to them. Look at this, here comes another boaty. Wonder how he went. 
Oh, look all these kids with their fishing rods. I'm getting jealous. <laughs> Camelia, g'day, beautiful. Welcome in. She, she's another Western Australian. Yes, she's south of Perth. Are you anywhere near Monkey Mia? Monkey Maya? Is it Monkey Maya? It's Monkey Maya, not Monkey Mia. Goodness me. How you going, Camelia? Oh, go away. Go! Shoot! I'm good. I'm really good. It's a beautiful day today. And I wanted to come and film to show everyone just how beautiful it is today. It's lovely. Oh, is it north of Perth? Okay, there you go. I'd love to go over there. Okay. Yeah, right, okay, I'll be home. Um, I'll be home this afternoon, Dee. I think I'm going to actually go and get my fishing rod and go fishing. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll see. If I don't go fishing today, I'm definitely coming back here tomorrow for a fish. Oh, I should bring back fishing with fluff. <laughs> That's another segment I could bring back. That was a hoot. Yeah, that's what I'll do, especially when it's starting to cool down. I'll do fish me fluff. I don't know who that dude is, so I'll get him out of the shot. See you, D. I'll be, yeah, I'll be home later this afternoon. Oh, oh, matey just got back in the shot. I don't want to film other people. <laughs> is is all for other people, people you know. Sam, g'day my mate, welcome in. How's everything going over in... Sam, you're in Germany, aren't you? Are you in Germany? G'day mate, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Yes, it's, it's beautiful, Sam, today. Thanks, Kitty, Witty. Thank you so much. <clears throat> oh goodness me you should see these birds oh no my bestie poor Donna she's working today I think she's working tomorrow. She won't be able to come fishing with me tomorrow. Ugh. Oh, here comes another Bodhi in. He's solo. See, I, I don't like Dan going fishing on his own because I just don't think it's safe. Oh, there's a bird fight now. I'll tell you what, if it... 
Any more birds come, that's it, I'm out of here. But look at this absolutely beautiful day. Here's old matey coming in on his own. Wonder how he went. Oh, cute. That's cute, kitty. So you're a cat lover. I can tell also by your channel's name, Kitty Witty. Hey, Kitty Witty, cat videos go off. People love cat videos, especially if you can train your cat to do something cute. <laughs> That'd be good for your channel, Kitty Witty, filming your cat doing cuteness. Even just laying there being asleep is super cute. People love cat videos. So that might be a um, good start for your channel. There's an idea for you, kitty. An opening for a great channel. You're welcome, kitty. <laughs> just remember Fluff suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well there you go there you go you've got you've got heaps of content to film you've got a bird you've got a, your puppy dog and your, your little cat unfortunately we don't have any pets we lost our little our little Miss Polly dog about a month ago now she was 15. I'll tell you what, it is so lonely coming home from work and she's not laying in her flower garden waiting for me, her, her spot in the garden. Because I love flowers as well, kitty witty. I film a lot of my flowers. Not now because it's too hot, it's too hot up here. But in springtime, when it cools down, I might throw some beautiful flowers, seedlings into a pot. Oh, we've got a jet skier, everyone. We have got a lucky person of the world who is on a jet ski. Look at this. Oh, give it to it, mate. Look at this, the lifestyle, would you? Go, mate. Any members in here? Can I get a woohoo emoji? Look at old matey going, he's loving his jet ski. Get over here, mate, and be my best mate. <laughs> so I can use you for your jet ski. We don't have a jet ski. We hire ours. Oh, he's right in front of the pole. Mate, get in frame. There we go. <laughs> Look at him loving his jet ski. Oh. Look at that, right in front of the poles. That'll be right. Go, mate. Lucky devil, hey? He's got his jet ski. That's probably a $30,000 jet ski, everyone. Buck! G'day, my mate. G'day, my very talented thumbnailer. <laughs> Well done. I know that I've said well done because I emailed you. On that thumbnail that you made for Jody, that is absolutely excellent. I want one buck. I want I want one of me and a barramundi. You know, that fish I've never ever caught, but everyone else around me catches barramundi.
Yeah, he's loving it, kitty. Oh, sorry, but sorry, little big child. Oh, Buck, you are a gem. Good on you, mate. Thanks, mate. You're too talented, Buck. You're too talented. I need some of your talent on my channel. <laughs> Oh, old matey on his jet ski. He looks like a whippersnipper as well. He doesn't seem too old. Can't see his, his jet ski too well, but it's flash. Oh, there's dad or the big brother helping him. Hey. Oh, they're doubling. Give it to it, mate. Good on you, mate. Oh, and the tree gets in the road. Here we go. Come on, mate. There he goes. Vum, vum. Living his best life, huh? Lucky duck. Thanks, Buck. Oh, here comes another flash boat, everyone. Into the boat ramp. I think I might end this live stream, but if anyone would like to make an announcement in the chat, please do so now so we know what you're up to, so we can go over and check out what you've been doing. I welcome that here. Yes. Good old jet ski, hey? Living their best life they are. Loving it.
it on, made his boat. Nice. Oh, those big rod holders. Oh, Dan would love that. <coughs> Their boat is pimped out. Woohoo! Beautiful boat, mate. Well done. Nice work. It's lovely. We would love one like that. <laughs> Another one. Goodness me. Now we're happy with our little boats. They do what they they're meant to do. <laughs> they boat. <laughs> okay well I'm going to end this live stream now no one has anything that they'd like to share with us but before I go I'd like to thank everyone for coming in and saying g'day it was beautiful and I'd also like to do a big shout out to Kitty Witty thanks mate thanks for coming into my live stream And I hope to see you more. And get that camera out and start filming those gorgeous, sweet little animals because those animal channels really go off. People love those animal channels. Buck, thanks, mate. Thanks for coming in. And thanks for being a mate. <laughs> Camelia, thank you, beautiful. And we'll have a jam sesh one day. <laughs> I'll get me triangle out of retirement. You know my triangle? <laughs> we'll jam on. Oh, I've got a lot of respect for people who can play music. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.